Hey you beautiful people, how's it going? And welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be showcasing the loot from 50 Juiced Blight Ravage maps. Now when the Ravage maps were announced at the end of 3.15, I was mega excited because I thought these were going to be absolutely insane for loot. Because Blight maps themselves are also very, very profitable, so I thought this was going to be like next level. Um... So yeah, I've run 50 of them with over 350% quantity, um, triple silver oil, triple crimson, and triple amber. Uh, these would usually be extremely, extremely difficult, but there is essentially a trick you can use to freeze the whole map. I'm not going to go into details now. If you want to know about that, feel free to let me know and I'll make a quick video about it. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much do these maps as long as you have a decent amount of DPS, thanks to this perma-freeze mechanic um, from the towers. So, yeah, we're going to get into the video, take a look at the loot, and see just how good these things actually are, and whether they weigh up to their difficulty amount. Because these things take a while to complete. These bosses are pretty damn tanky. They are probably on the same level as Kosis and Omniphobia combined in a way for a simulacrum. As you can see, um, this guy down here is barely losing health with <laughs> over 60 skeletons on him. So, yeah, um, they take a while to do sometimes. Anyway, let's get to the loot. That's enough rambling from me. See you in a sec. Okay, guys. So let's jump straight into the loot from the 50 Juice Blight Ravager maps. Let's take a look at the tabs. So straight away, we've got eight exalted oils. We've got eight golden oils. We had absolutely no tainted oils. I'm beginning to question whether or not they really exist. I don't know where these people in trade are getting their tainted oils from because it's definitely not from Blight maps. Since they've been released, I've not had one. And I corrupt pretty much every Blight map that I do. So... I'm, I'm just super unlucky, guys. I'm just super unlucky. Uh, so this does span over two tabs, so don't worry, because I know this looks underwhelming, but don't worry, we've got one more. One, one more. Oh, it's, it's so bad. It's honestly so bad. This is this is a pinnacle encounter, you know? This is uber content. This is supposed to be very, very rewarding. And to me, this doesn't feel like the type of things I should get from one of the hardest encounters in the game. Um, yeah, the loot, it's not looking great, to be honest with you. It's not looking great, so... Yeah, I mean, you get good bases, I suppose. Like, we've got these bases over here. We've got these fingerless silk gloves. We've got these bone helmets, high level 86. These are great. Honestly, these are awesome. If you could do these, uh, this content early in the league for these bases, you'll probably make a mint off bases alone. Uh, but unfortunately, considering, you know, 95% of you are casual players... Um, you're not going to get the chance to do these because they are very difficult. You're not. You're going to need good DPS and... Uh, it's a pinnacle encounter. You're not supposed to be doing it in the first few days. You know what I mean? So, uh, unfortunately, I don't see a realistic world where you, um, you're you able to do these uh, at a point where these, these bases are worth, you know, tons of money. Maybe I'll try it out next league and I'll have a look if I go hard at league start. Um, but, yeah, overall, quite underwhelming. Quite underwhelming. Not going to lie to you. So, let's jump into the investment, the cost, and whatnot. So, 50 maps ran. Uh, current rate 146C, let's just get that out of the way. 1,000 Chaos for 50 Blight Ravage maps, 20C each in bulk. Silver Oils at 150 um, for 1,990 Chaos. Crimson Oils at 438 for 150. And Amber Oils at 73. Uh, I haven't included the the price of Val Orbs and rolling the maps, which, you know, I just Alchem and then Valum pretty much. The only mods that you can't really do for these are uh, um, Monsters Cannot Be Stunned because it can mess your setup up. So you can brick your map. Luckily, I didn't. Um... Also, if you roll beyond and you're not super strong, the beyond monsters will have 200%, well, 248% more life in my case, which will make them extremely tanky and could also brick your map if you're not capable of dealing with them. So just be careful of that if you're going to try these. I don't know why you would after watching this video, to be honest, because honestly, uh, it's not really worth it. And you'll see why when I show you, show you the excellence value of the tab. But time investment, 8.3 hours as well. So at least it takes a long time to do that. Well, no, wait, no, wait. There's no, there's no good sides to this so far. It takes too long to do these, to be honest. It takes eight minutes to clear the maps, even after the timer has run out, because you will still be killing bosses unless you have Giga DPS. Um, and yeah, 8.3 hours for 50 maps, in my opinion, is not very good. You can farm Nem Free slightly faster than this. Um, I think it's something like 7.5 hours for 50 juice Nem Free maps before. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Um, the only thing I've put in my spreadsheet is the bases because I'm going to use excellence to value everything else up. So, uh, yeah, 685 from the bases, bone helmets being the most at 70c each, fugitive boots, uh, 30c each and stuff like that. Um, 
Got two ghastly eye jewels though, which were pretty good rolled. Uh, these were the only jewels that I ID that were actually worth something. So minion increased damage if you use the minion skill recently, always a good mod, and max life on both of them. And then this one's got flat cold as well, which is good for a skiller build. So yeah, can probably sell that for like um, 100c, 90c, something like that. Um, jumping into excellence now, let's take a look at the value of the tabs. Woo! 43.88x. 43.88x. Um, I think it's actually gone up. No, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just, it's got me depressed, guys. It's actually got me depressed, dude. 43.88x from a pinnacle encounter from Uber content, man. Like, come on. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at the total value. We have the exalts being worth the most, and then we have stacked decks at 642. We had 440 stacked decks, which is pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, we could probably sell them for, like, 2C each in bulk, or maybe even 2.5. Uh, but, realistically, I'm going to open them, guys. I'm going to open them. I always open my decks. Um, Golden Oils, 8, being 312C right now as well. Got quite a few Chaos Orbs in there at 263. Let's take a look, actually, at the most quantity real quick. So, Chromatic Orbs. I don't have them on my filter, but they dropped in stacks and yeah 565 40c um stat decks being the second most common thing pog uh you do get a lot of card nodes and if you have the silver oils then you know the quantity is juiced up which allows you to potentially have up to 10 nodes on a card node or a scarab node and stuff like that so that's why silver is really really good in my opinion and it also affects the loot explosion at the end giving you potentially more exalts and stuff like that as well so sorry i was about to hiccup so uh, yeah, 440 stacked decks. Pretty good, pretty good alteration and stuff like that in there as well. Uh, yeah, there's not too much to talk about, guys, honestly. Like, we get tons of maps. We get good oils, I guess. Um, but yeah, over overall, yeah, nothing too special. We get some scarabs, I guess. You sometimes get the scarab. The scarab node's very rare. I think I had it about six times out of 50 maps, which is kind of sad as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, my experience with Blight Ravage maps is not good. My opinion of them is not good. Um, and I hope they get buffed in the next league. I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe I was unlucky. Uh, share your experience if you've been running these and you've had, like, way, way better results. But let's just take a look at the turnover and the profit very, very quickly. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to mess around. Turnover, 7,088. So, yeah, just, just over double the investment. Um, which makes our total profit 24.57x or 3,587x for uber content for endgame content that is really really piss poor that is probably the worst um this is i think this is actually the lowest amount i have made from a loot video uh overall across everything i've done and i ran in one league i think it was like 100 synthesis maps with the nodes and i think i still made more doing that than i did with this uh so yeah very very disappointed probably i don't know man did I get unlucky? I don't know. That It just wasn't great, guys. That's it from me, guys. Um, I hope you've had it. It's a bit of a rant video, to be honest. Kind of complaining, but yeah. I just feel like uber content, pinnacle content, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it, it just it should be more rewarding. That's it from me, guys. <laughs> Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you next time.